Hey everyone, it's Hayes, and once again we have another screenshot for the game because um, whoever is releasing this is pulling a TF1 on us and is just releasing things gradually, a bit every single day, which um, honestly I'm not happy about. I'm in London right now, I'm trying to have a nice time. But anyway, so this one I feel kind of looks like it's possibly in the middle of like actual gameplay rather than like a cutscene, and it seems to be Cat Noir knocking Chloe's lights out with his baton and um not gonna lie I mean Chloe's not my favorite person is she my least favorite person no but um I am very much looking forward to getting to do this within the game now in addition to this I also found a bit of information more about the game because honestly we didn't know a lot going forward so let me read it out for you and discuss so it's going to be an action adventure game based on Miraculous obviously and it will be released on the 25th of October and it's going to cost just shy of $50. In addition to this, I also found like a little synopsis and a little thing about the features. So the synopsis reads, Paris needs a hero, or two. Hulk Daddy and his cronies have hatched a plan to unleash a giant senti monster on the city, and only superhero crime fighters Ladybug and Cat Noir can squash it before it's too late. Dive into the magical world of Miraculous and face off against infamous foes from the series, as well as some completely new threats. Level up your abilities to put an end to Hulk Daddy's schemes and save the people of Paris once more. So it seems like there's going to be like a leveling up um, system in this, and I'm not sure how I feel about that, purely because any game where I have to level myself up I usually do badly. <laughs> so the key features in the game, it's going to be a mainly single player game as the adventure, play as superheroes Ladybug and Cat Noir, so you get to play as them both by the sounds of it, in an original story inspired by the TV show. However, I have been led to believe that the game is canon, but I would assume it never gets mentioned in the show, a bit like the New York and the Shanghai specials. Uh, use Ladybug's flash slinging yo-yo and Cat Noir's magically versatile staff to swing or vault into action. That is a great way to describe his baton. Wow, amazing. And there's also going to be a multiplayer mode, so team up with a friend in co-op, experience the thrill of battling together with a friend in local co-op, and I would love to try that out. Come face to face with Hawk Daddy, Gamer, Were Dad, Mr. Pigeon, and even a few surprises too. That makes me nervous. Upgrade your heroes, enhance your gadgets to unleash new moves, and meet up with your friend and mentor, Master Fu, to learn new powers to use in battle. So if Master Fu's in the game, I would assume this is set in series three because Mayura is in the game so it's set post series two but before season three ends. Explore the streets of Paris, journey around town to learn more about Ladybug and Cat Noir's alter egos, Marinette and Adrian, and catch up with friends to unlock special story moments. So I'm really hoping this is going to have some element of open world. I would love for this game. Perhaps I'm hoping too much due to the um, quality of the graphics we've been given for it. Um, I am hoping for a game a bit like the Spider-Man games, where it's free roam and you travel to different points in the city to carry on the story, but you can also go off and do side missions. Stuff like that. And then the last bit is visit the Kwame shop, discover the Kwame shop's many treasures and unlock new music, artwork and more. So it does sound like it's going to be an amazing game. I am just a little bit worried about the quality of it, just because of the visuals we've been given so far. But I still hope, I still hope it's going to be amazing. So I'd love to know what you think of all this information and the new screenshot we got, besties, and I'll see you in the next one.